bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Sometimes we need to tell ourselves to bless the Lord. We need to tell all that is within us to bless his holy name. As a church recently, we've loved singing, I'll praise when I feel it and I'll praise when I don't. So how do we do this, like the psalmist says, with all that is within us? Now, fasting is often described as praying with our whole body, our whole person, which leads me to ask, does God listen more when we're hungry? Of course not. A whisper or a prayer throughout our day, and he surely listens. But in the reality of our busy lives, we just don't do that. Often the prayer is an afterthought, and the seeking God and the praising him anyway is just during a church service. The famous verse of Jeremiah 29, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future, is followed by this. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me. When you seek me with all of your heart, I will be found by you, declares the Lord. There's something about the seeking and the finding that God finds value in. It's not because God is aloof or too busy, it's because he's relational. And when we pray and seek with our whole person through fasting, by putting to one side the hunger of our flesh and the thing that for most of us structures our days, it puts seeking God not just in the center of our lives, but intertwined into the rhythm of our daily lives. Now, does this strike a chord with you? Think about how food has dominated the last two months with Christmas feasting and January dieting. Have you honestly been seeking God with all that is within you?